Peter Haddock and welcome to the Ritchie Brothers July 2021 Auction Roundup. Join me here right in the middle of the Ritchie Brothers auction and uh, people are behind me testing the equipment uh, to see uh, if they want to bid on it tomorrow the 15th and 16th and so we always have the big run of telehandlers that you see behind me and as we spin around we can see that you also have a range of backhoe loaders but as we go further into the actual auction lot. It's the first time Ritchie Brothers are actually in their yard at Maltby and uh, we can see therefore they're able to lay out the equipment in a really really nice way. So we have a whole range of wheel loaders uh, behind me and we actually have quite a, a big one joining the auction this time and uh, that's in the form of the Caterpillar 988G that you see behind me particularly like these two units here that you're just going to come in to see. Unimog really has a, got a fantastic base for access platforms like this. Of course, you've got the usual suspects in Thwaites and JCB with their dumpers. I actually saw the new electric dumper from JCB recently at the press conference. So you can see that people have got a real choice here. You can see We've actually got some farm equipment tractors behind me. It's a really nice example here of a Komatsu WA380. You can find all the details on rbauction.co.uk or you can actually download the Ritchie Brothers app uh, for that particular uh, unit and all the rest of it that's in the auction. And you can actually search through that app at any time because obviously they do auctions around the globe um, through different parts of Europe as well. So if you're looking for something specific to auction for, and of course they've got Marketplace E, which is their always on platform that you can sell and make offers on equipment. ETs as well. Another Terex, uh, last auction we sold a number of Terexes. And this Caterpillar unit, um, lot 154A, actually got, been converted. Always like to see a nice big cat off highway truck here, 775D there and uh, next to it is the A35F Volvo and uh, you know ADTs are in short supply at the moment as we keep hearing for large projects like HS2 and of course as we move around we come to the bank of excavators a really nice PC300MR here uh, from Komatsu with of course all of the accessories and if you can see there there's geese buckets that come with that um, particular sale. And as we walk through, we see some of the smaller lots here, smaller excavators. A whole run of these excavators. Um, and as we walk inside, we start to get to the different categories and different size groups. Attaches here, Kubotas, the usual suspects really in the mini excavator range. As we walk through here, again, you know, people can come to the auction Take a look around the machines, this 308E2, uh, somebody's doing that right now. And as we move forward to the larger pieces, you know, there's a really nice group of excavators here, Hitachi excavators, a whole run of them here. And of course, what's really interesting about um, this auction is you actually have numerous different pieces of equipment like this particular unit from Lynch, joined here by more material handlers um, from Caterpillar, uh, Volvo and JCB and Doosan. So we've got a whole run of uh, those there finishing off with uh, M. O'Brien as well with the Hydra Dig. And this time at the auction, there's quite a lot of paving equipment uh, available here. Of course, it's not just all about the actual machines themselves. I'm surrounded by a sea of buckets. What's really interesting is I've just discovered in this attachment section that we actually have some new attachments uh, here from mustanghammer.com and uh, you don't often see 
uh, necessarily or think necessarily about having attachments like this um, at an auction, but they're here. So it's goodbye from me at the ramp here at the Ritchie Brothers auction. Hope you've enjoyed my tour and you can bid on the equipment right now and it closes on the 15th and 16th of July. Happy bidding. <music>